Hello, everybody. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining us today is our favorite registered dietitian <laughs> uh, and uh, certified dietitian. It's Andrea Miller. Hey, Andrea, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm tongue twisted, but very excited <laughs> to talk about this Mediterranean diet month. Good. Because I am, I am desperately in need of something new to cook for the family, and this, uh, this just brings uh, spring and summer. I don't know personally, but uh, yes, very excited to talk about this. Uh, let's uh, let's learn a little bit about this, uh, and we, we'll start with uh, the health benefits to eating uh, the Mediterranean diet. Mm -hmm. Yes, so um, so the American Heart Association uh, recommends this diet to help with preventing. Um, it can prevent um, heart attacks, stroke. So those are two biggies um, that um, can be preventable. It can also contribute to brain health. Um, it can be beneficial for those with type two diabetes. Um, so those are um, just some of the benefits that um, this eating plan can help with. Well, those are two big, <laughs> big areas mm -hmm. in the U.S. Uh, for uh, uh, deaths, unfortunately, especially in the heart, uh, heart world. And this is coming from right. a guy who's not in shape, so he totally understands mm -hmm. that and needs to listen to you today. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, someone wanted to start eating, uh, eating this diet, where would be a good place to start? Sure, yeah, that's a great question. So um, what's interesting about this diet, we in the United States like to compartmentalize things and package them as diets. Um, when actually the Mediterranean diet per se is more so a lifestyle or kind of in thinking of it more of as an eating pattern. So it's really not following a strict set of rules, which is one of the components that makes this way of eating so popular and successful is because you don't have to follow strict rules. Um, so what somebody who is kind of looking at this um, to get started, it's basically looking at the base of this eating pattern is fruits, vegetables, legumes, which are lentils, beans, dried peas, that category. Um, uh, you know, lots of fruits and vegetables and whole grains. So that's kind of the base of the eating pattern. Um, so what someone could look at is how much of those foods do we consume already? And if the answer is not a lot, maybe you start a little bit at a time dappling in categories of those foods. If you're looking at maybe we should start including more fruits and vegetables, maybe we don't do beans at all, and we start doing that once or twice a week. So that's kind of where I would start is with the foundation of that eating plan. Well, that's good to hear because you don't, you know, you're kind of thinking I'm going to have to just clear up my cabinet and right. get started with something brand new. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of these things I would, uh, I would guess that people are doing uh, mm -hmm. if we're looking for for recipes and stuff, uh, where could we find some of those uh, recipes or, or basic recipes? Because I'm thinking for a guy like me getting started yeah. making something right. in that right. front, where yeah. would I stand on that? Yeah, and if you're not used to cooking with beans or lentils and wouldn't even know where to start, it's always great to have a recipe in front of you. Um, so one of the resources on our website, on our hyvee.com website, um, there's a tab right at the top that says recipes and ideas. If you click into there, you have an option to search recipes by theme or topic. You could, you could type in salmon and get salmon recipes, or you could type in the word Mediterranean, and then you'll get recipes will load for Mediterranean style recipes. Yeah, that's good to know, I think, because uh, you kind of want to, <clears throat> as you're putting this together and trying to figure right. out what you're going to be able to make, tying that in with the recipes, mm -hmm. they help. Uh, when I hear you say fish and stuff, I start to think mm -hmm. of price. Uh, is this a, an expensive, <laughs> expensive way of eating? I don't want to even say diet, but expensive. Yeah, way. yeah, that's a good. That's a good question. So keep in mind, this way of eating is titled Mediterranean diet because it's related to the foods of the people in the countries that surround the Mediterranean Sea. So take into consideration they're eating foods. Um, local to their region. So olive oil, for instance, probably is a, isn't as expensive as it is here in the States just because it's, um, it's related to where they, where they live and it's local for them, right? So what we can do is we can look at the different food groups and the balance of these food groups and apply it to our foods here in the United States. Yeah, no, that's, that's good to know because yet <laughs> I, you know, some of the fish prices, especially when it gets up to Wisconsin, can be a little mm -hmm. bit 
difficult uh, difficult to get, which makes the price go up a little bit on that. Right, right. And then with the oils, again, it's it's more focusing on plant based oils. So maybe we do grapeseed oil or avocado oil or canola oil that is more um, maybe a little bit less expensive here um, in the states. Yeah, no, good good information there. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, uh, the lifestyle, is there more than uh, just food uh, that's associated with this? Yeah, so there's other there's other components um, that um, that contribute to this healthy eating pattern. That's not just about the food. So um, there's a lot of respect for planning a meal in advance. Um, preparing it maybe even together you know with your family actually embracing the process of preparing and planning for meals where we tend to consider it a chore um, those that follow the Mediterranean style of eating it's a little bit more of a relaxed um, atmosphere where they don't get too worried about you know counting counting their calories and do they have every vitamin and mineral they focus more on variety and color and flavor and um, enjoying their food. We kind of talked a little bit about uh, recipes, but if we were trying to plan for this, is there some uh, other books and, and resources out there that uh, can help us steer, steer us in the right direction here? Sure, sure. So certainly um, if somebody would like a little bit more focus instead of just saying, you know, eating the, 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 the food groups, <laughs> Um, you can certainly search um, whether you're at the library or searching online. Um, you could search Mediterranean cookbook. You could search Mediterranean book, and you will get um, quite a few options. Um, the nice thing is, it's all going to be quite reputable. You know, it's not a it's not a restriction um, type of diet. It's more so giving you ideas on ways to consume fruits and vegetables and beans, and using meat more so as an accessory. Um, in a smaller quantity versus it being the main event of your of your meal. Well, from what I can gather, I mean, it, it's definitely a, a twist on uh, the Wisconsin flavor of <laughs> yes. diet, but I think it's very, it would be very interesting to try it out. And uh, I, I'm betting that you would say baby steps into, into mm -hmm. that you uh, do try um, uh, to make it successful. Yes, and it's very doable. It's very manageable. Fantastic. Andrea, thank you so much for sharing the information. Um, I'm going to hit you up for some uh, recipes right after we get off of it. <laughs> no, we'll Great. Uh, but yeah, stop on down and visit uh, Andrea at any of the uh, Hy-Vee locations here in the uh, Fitchburg and Madison area, and we'll mm -hmm. check in with her uh, again right here on Talking Fitchburg. And we'll take a quick break. You are watching Talking Fitchburg. <laughs> 